good batteries are running up. <laughs> we are at the conclusion of the District 42 Fall Conference here in Alberta, Canada, actually Calgary, Alberta, Canada, November 7, 8, and 9. This year we had the absolute pleasure of having a most gracious visit from our international president, Mr. Mohammed Murad, from Dubai, United Arab Emirates. So I know this is like uh, you've been here a whole week, so it's a bit late for me to say welcome to, to Calgary, to Alberta, to District 42, but it's a pleasure to have seen you here. Pleasure is mine. And uh, it is now Sunday and everyone is departing. At yesterday's uh, District 42 DTM luncheon, you gave us a good uh, talk on leadership. And one of the things that, that resonated in my mind is you had a question in there that went something like, is leadership for you? And uh, I just wanted you to elaborate. If there's, obviously in your uh, rise to presidency of Toastmasters International, you have seen your leadership evolve and also of others. So uh, how, how did you see uh, leadership uh, as, uh, climb as, as you rose through the ranks of Toastmasters? I'm, I'm a big pro pro proponent of taking it each step at a time rather than saying that I need to intake as much as leadership skills in zero years or in one year or two years and be able to apply it because that could never happen. I believe that leadership is, is a lifelong journey. So if you are at each stage of the step going towards ultimate leadership or pinnacle leadership as Dr. John Maxwell puts it, yes. you will need to intake a big amount of information at each step of of the way okay so i think it's it's important for us to understand that it's a lengthy process but it's a worthwhile process if you enjoy each and every step of it yes and and it, it's amazing how you look at opportunities and and be able to take advantage of the ones that appeal most to you because once you take up leadership you are prone to get as many opportunities that you can intake okay. uh, and the smart thing is to be able to look at the ones that will take you further than the other ones so they are different in intensity so it's the ability of, of being able to recognize opportunities and to grab them now and the other thing that uh, resonated with me uh, special that you mentioned is how you got your start with uh, Toastmasters mm -hmm. Could you just tell us quickly how that was? It, it only takes one person to invite you in. And, and, and I'm amazed at how that opens opportunities. And probably if you apply it in real life, it only takes one person to change your life, whether with a word, a sentence, an action, or even by being a role model. Yes. So it, it, it all boils down, you know, our whole Toastmasters organization revolves around people inviting others mm. to become part of the experience okay. and changing lives through coming to those master clubs. Okay. Now it resonated for me because how I got my start was a very good computer friend of mine who I uh, admired and trusted asked me a simple question. He says, have you ever heard of Toastmasters? Mm -hmm. And he just piqued my interest and I said, he says, why don't you come to one of our meetings? And I did, and here I am. It's that little tipping point yes. that's just enough to get you interested. Mm -hmm. uh, we are all, all very good at it in those matters, aren't we? We make sure that we look at potential yes. and encourage them to take up the leadership positions because that is where the real learning happens. Sure, okay, good. Good. So you have a hectic schedule. You, you, you've come here via Hawaii. You've attended that conference. You're on your way tomorrow uh, to Vegas, I believe. Is that another conference uh, going on yes, there as well? Yes, there'll be another conference in Vegas and then I'll be going to Denver for an executive committee of Toastmasters International meeting. Okay. And then finally to New York, which is the last visit, and back home. Great. Wow. It's a long run. 
but it, it was a pleasure listening to you and, and hearing to your 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 uh, educational your keynote speeches and uh, Vegas is next year and I plan to be there and looking forward to to seeing you again in Vegas and uh, to catching up there I certainly look forward to seeing you and probably many of the people who are listening in and, and oh, seeing the great. system. Pleasure to have you. Nice speaking with you and we will talk to you soon next sure. year. Thank you very Thanks Mohammed.